Stability AI has released Stable Video 3D and I'm going to show you in this video how to use it in a very easy way inside of ConfUI because ConfUI always gets the stuff first. Let's get started. First, let's have a look at the Stability AI post on their blog. You can check it out if you want to. It's linked below and you can see here what this is about. It creates a video that is basically a rotation around the object in a 3D looking video from a single image and then also it can create a 3d video haven't tried that yet but I will show you how to create the rotation video and here it is compared to other technologies like 0123 XL and 0123 which have been the former models and now this new model is better for that and they also say that it has some more unified lighting so it has not a pre-baked in lighting or tries to avoid that and has more of a easy even lighting around the model. So what you need to have here is pretty easy. First of all, you need the models. For that, you need to agree here to their license agreements to access the models. And there is a special part here for agreeing to getting their marketing communication. But I think you can simply unsubscribe that afterwards. Click these two buttons and click on agree down here. You cannot use this for commercial use with the download model. However, Ever, as they point out here in their announcement, you can use it for commercial purposes with the membership on the Stability AI service if you want to. Once you have agreed to the terms, you go here to files and versions and you need to download the SV3U safe tensor file 9.36 gigabytes for that. That is going to create the video rotating around the 3D object. You also need the workflow for that. And there is one that I'm showing you in this video created by a user. It's posted on Pastebin. I don't know how permanent that is. Also, there's a little bit of an error in here because this shows the SV3DP model, but actually we need the SV3DU model. Now, I'll make a own version of that workflow. It's a little bit improved because it uses this node here to interpolate the images and give you the double frame rate so it plays a lot smoother. You can download that from my Patreon as a Patreon supporter, but you also get a lot of other cool stuff like, for example, the full length video here and how I made this image with LCM in Krita or these kind of three experimental workflows here that can do really cool stuff showing you abilities of AI or from my last live stream I have here the results from this and this video with the workflows with the input images and so on and other cool stuff with the workflows and more information on downloading negative embedding stuff like that so it would really help out my channel if you want to support me there let's go on with the video now you also need notes for that. One is called KG Notes, and you can install that from the ConfUI Manager. And the other one, this is for the smoother video, is called ConfUI Frame Interpolation. So when you go inside of ConfUI, you have here this little window. You click here on the Manager, you click here on Install Custom Notes, and then you type up here first KG Notes, as I told you, and then also Frame Interpolation. And you click here and install that over here from the Install tabs. Now, after you've done that, I would highly suggest to you that you restart ConfUI. So you have here this command line window close that down, open it back up, and then you might get something where it says it wants to quit by pressing any button. So press any button, quit it, start it again, and then it should run smoothly for you. And all of these notes here should look good to you. If something else is missing for you, you click here on the manager, you click here on install missing custom notes, and then click on install for any kind of note that is missing for you. And another thing, if you have a problem running this, click here on update all, let it run through until it tells you to restart, hit the restart button. And then if it doesn't work, also again, close the command window here and restart ConfUI again. And then it should, all of that should work for you and everything should look like this. Now here I downloaded a photo of an Ikea chair and then uh, all of this is already here. You don't need to change any of these settings here. You can see that this is going for the conditioning for 576 by 576 
6 from the resolution and then creating 21 video frames for that. It's rendering here through the case sampler. You can play around with the settings here if you want to. Here you have the SV3DU safe tensor model. Now I do have that inside of my Automatics 1111 models folder for stable diffusion. You can put it also in the ComViewi models folder if you want to. So it's just a normal model as you would use normally with any other thing. But this is for the 3D video. And then up here, I added this special node here. It's called Fortuna for some reason, which is a little bit annoying. It should be called Frame Interpolation. That would be much easier to find that. You can leave the settings as they are, just multiplying the frames by two. However, you want to set here the frame rate now instead of six frames per second to 12 frames per second to get the smoother playback. And then you get this beautiful video here here rotating you can see it has a nice even light most of the time so that's pretty amazing it has a little bit of errors in there it's not 100 percent perfect but it's much much better than anything we have seen before and for a video that's rotating from just one frame this is absolutely mind-blowing let me know in the comments what you think about that thanks for watching leave a like and see you soon bye my friends oh you're still here so uh this is the end screen there's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool and yeah i hope i see you soon uh leave a like if you haven't yet and well um yeah